Hello, my name is Michael and I'm here with SalesPad and this is a short video on how to create SalesPad connections. So now that we have SalesPad installed and all of our shortcuts set up, uh, we can go ahead and create our connections. So I'm going to launch SalesPad here and this will take us to our login screen. So I'll direct your attention to this uh, connect to line here. So we'll see four different icons. Um, this little downward facing carrot is uh, a drop down menu of all established connections. And then our plus sign is used to create new connections. The minus sign is used to delete connections. And then this ellipses here is used to uh, edit connections. So we're gonna be uh, creating a new one. So this connection field here, um, this is just a text field. It actually does not do any type of syncing. Uh, it is just meant to name the connection. So if I was going to be um, creating a connection for our live database, I would want to put that in the name. So I would put SalesPad Live. And of course, if we are connecting to the test, then uh, you know I would recommend putting SalesPad Test. And this will help avoid any confusion in the future when we are connecting to different, uh, different databases. So our next portion here is our server. So these are uh, all the available servers on your network that SalesPad can see at this moment. And I am looking for a server called Local. And when I'm scrolling through here, uh, I actually don't see that. But that is OK. Um, so we can actually uh, type in the name of the server that we're trying to connect to here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we are moving on to this connect using field here. Um, so we always recommend using the uh, SQL Server Authentication and using your System Administrator or SA uh, name and password here. Now using these credentials will give uh, the proper permissions to SalesPad uh, that we need to communicate with the database. So if you prefer, you can use a different SQL user, uh, but that user must meet our minimum uh, SQL user requirements. Um, and those can be found on page five of our installation and connection guide, uh, which is also available on our website. So for the next section here, our company database. So these are uh, all the available databases that are within SQL. And um, so this is actually a, a type of validation screen. Um, so when I click here on this drop down menu, you'll see all of the databases that we have available. Um, and we were going to connect to this two database, but let's say that we had, um, we had misentered the uh, password. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this last digit here, and then let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this company database drop down again, and you will notice that I actually do not get any options. So again, like I said, this is a validation screen, so I know that either my server or my SA name and password is incorrect. So let's see when I put that correct digit back in, what happens? And there we go. Now we have all of our uh, databases available to us again. So I'm going to go ahead and click two. So let's take a look at where uh, SalesPad is storing this connection info. So I'm going to go ahead and look at our registry. But we are looking at our H key current user, and then going into software, then looking for uh, the sales pad name right here. And then you will see our connections uh, labeled right there. And it, uh, it will encrypt the password. But um, so if you are using a terminal server um, and you actually want to copy this connection to other users, um, then you can reference our documentation that will walk you through that process. Um, so that document is called Connections via reg edit uh, import export and uh, that document is available on our website as well so now you are ready to enter your user id and password and get connected so thank you for watching this video uh, we have many more available on our website at www.salespad.net